Luxembourg still exists. Right, Chromium. Mexico, maybe? Central America? Mexico. Although that's not a huge amount. Cuba. It's getting it from Cuba. Cuba is communist. Very rabidly communist. Are we now re fitting all of these ships? We are indeed. Excellent. So our destroyers are actually going to be capable of finding submarines now, which they weren't until this point. You know, we're actually doing a really good job of pushing them back. I'm quite impressed by this. I mean, I know it's not just Finland, it's all of us together, but still. Um, this is a... This is an acceptable fight back. We're going to try and get up to the Rhine, and then we'll push along the side. The Germans have agreed to provide us with naval blueprints, stating that a navally powerful Finland is advantageous to the Reichspact as a whole. Yay! Yeah, independent Yucatan, still alive! I can't believe that- I still can't believe that they built Pete Mexico. There was a war between Yucatan and Mexico, and Yucatan won. Or at least fought it to a stalemate, so that uh, Mexico pieced out. It's still one of my favorite things. Um, right, so how far behind in terms of naval technology actually are we now? 1940, so we could get advanced submarines, but yeah, yeah, okay, we're seven years behind. And I desperately want to get some snorkels for those subs. Make them harder to detect. Hopefully if we can retake this for the Germans, then their industry will start to work again. That'd be nice. Are you guys ready for deployment? Yay! We're up to 17. Short on artillery. Always seems to be artillery. Aha, trade interdiction. And the VL Mirsky. So we definitely want to start working on more advanced fighters, 1940s, the Humus. And then. What was the other thing? Yeah, air doctrine, no, ship doctrine. We want to go convoy interdiction. We're going to make our submarines better at submarining. Can I show you the main division's templates? I can. Seven infantry, two artillery, artillery support, field hospitals, engineers and recon. 20 combat width. Okay, so all the ships have done their work. I feel like I do want to refit the submarines that I still have. So we're going to grab you. We go design. And we're going to give you sonar. I'm going to upgrade your torpedo tubes, and I think I'm actually going to give you a better engine. This refit cost cost almost as much as actually building new ships. I feel okay with this.
Oh, you know what I forgot to do? Name it. So these subs are going to be called... And then we're going to mark those obsolete. It should allow me to go here. Still not. Maybe because they're in a battle. Got a convoy. The fall of Havana. Cuban soldiers and militia have been driven from Havana into the countryside or into the old Spanish forts in the city where, after hours of merciless bombardment, they have finally surrendered to the New England forces. With the raising of the New England flag over El Moro Castle, commonly depicted in many postcards, the control of the entrance to Havana Harbor harbour has been secured by the invaders. Cuban forces, while not as numerous or well-equipped as their enemy, <laughs> managed to force a brutal fight as they fought block by block against efforts by the forces of New England to take the city for as long as they could. In the end, their valiant resistance was only fleeting, as Havana is now in the hands of a foreign power. Why do I print out the Patreon names instead of getting an app that does that? Is there nothing that does it? No. Aha! You can upgrade. Good. And you. Good. So that's all of my submarines should now be going back to harbour to get upgraded. Uh, I thought. Oh, they're probably still on the way. And the reason I printed out is so I can just tick them off. Like if I had to alt tab all the time. Some games are a little finicky when alt tabbing. It just saves a headache in that way. Abyssinia took three states. Somalia has been annexed. You know, I'm going to accept your... Lovely juice. Ooh, not that one. Can you use up all of my convoys, people? Come on. New England wants those cigars, man. <laughs> Doing it as well. Cuba is going to become New England. Newer England. Boston gets cold in the winter, so they want a holiday destination. <laughs> Okay, so you guys are ready for duty. And I think that you lot are all... Yeah, there we go. Being refitted. It's not taking very long, which is good. It's very good. And then soon enough we can start upgrading to a new ship class and start pumping out some even more modern submarines. And our submarines over time will just be getting better and better anyway. Because of our doctrine. Boston takes Cuba, didn't see that coming. Yeah, exactly. I wish Total War Three Kingdoms let you name units and characters that way I could show the world the might of Marteng's second was well less known son, Mar Mordred. <laughs> Very good. One thing actually you were mentioning about apps renaming stuff. One thing which occurred to me earlier today, actually, is there are now naming lists. So I could set up, for example, the submarine naming list to pull from the subscribers, or the destroyer naming list to pull from subscribers. So all the submarines and destroyers would then be automatically named after uh, Twitch 
people. And then what I'll probably do is save the patrons for naming the fleets and the armies, and then the ships themselves would be Twitch subs. And because I, I'm saying submarines and destroyers, because there's a lot of them, maybe if someone's a higher level Twitch sub, like a tier 2 or a tier 3, then maybe I'd say the battleships or something like that. We'll see. Did I join the Rikes Pact officially, or am I helping out because Germany's getting stomped? No, I am in the Rikes Pact. I am... It's just, well, in this law, Finland was one of Germany's best buddies, and I have continued that proud tradition. Okay, U-boat production is done. Let's go ahead and guard Orland. The Swedes continue to threaten our control over Orland, despite the fact that the territory was rightfully deemed ours by the German mediation. Increasing the strength of our navy might be enough to deter the Swedes from attempting an attack. That, and also we gave them no land in Russia. Why are you not being repaired? Or upgraded, even. Please do. Right, and then the other thing I was going to do was start building Mirskis. Because that's going to start building us some uh, construction efficiency. And... Whoa, okay. We actually have some pretty big deficits. Let's... Slow down on the fighters a little bit. Get some more guns in development. Support equipment's fine. Motorized is more than fine. In fact, motorized can probably switch off completely. For now. Iron Guard Romania has capitulated. The Romanian government has gone into exile and the main forces have capitulated. The Kingdom of Hungary, who is now in control of their home area. So it has. You guys aren't taking attrition or anything here, are you? No. That's alright then. I think we need to wait for a major French counterattack and then counter into the counterattack. Because we're really good at holding territory. Peace deal has been signed between New England and the Commune of France, New England Baratia, New England Mexico. Aw, does that mean New England peaced out with Cuba? What's New England's flag? It's the green one. I do believe it has, yes. Yes, it has. Peace. Truce. New England did the work and then Cuba was like, Enough! Stop it! Enough! It's too warm! <laughs> Us New Englanders can't handle the heat for more than a couple of weeks. It was a great idea in theory, but when the reality came, they were like, Nope, too hot, don't like it. Wave Gamer and Padster Loves Games, thank you very much for the follows. Welcome to the channel. Has New England left the Entente? Yes, actually they have. They're either left or they were kicked out. Because they've been working on this focus for a while. I think they may have been kicked out. Or maybe an event. Cuba has... I was... You were seconds away! Edward VIII has announced that the cowardly Cuban nation could no longer withstand the pressure from the overwhelming presence of, come on, let's be honest here, New England forces throughout the country. Minutes! You were just minutes away from getting those Cuban cigars just on drip tap. Why have I lost a submarine? Why, why do I... Huh? Oh, because they're being added back as they get upgraded. Yeah, okay. Kind of wish you waited for these guys, because then you're less likely to get sunk, but whatever. I think after this I'm going to just start building some more jacks submarines, because we do seem to get through those pretty quickly.
Classic Canada taking New England's work. Canada now gets the cigars. Foolish New England. Alright, two more. For the front lines. Some of you have taken a real thrashing. You're supposed to be on take it easy mode. Yay, Sanka Convoy. We're doing our bit. Lend leases are being ended. New ones are being uh, opened. I'm very happy I built so many convoys. Austria needs to step in. Are they done smoshing Serbia yet? Nope. The smoshing of Serbia usually takes a while, though. What am I doing for resources? Whoa! I have too much steel. Portugal's doing a really good job of holding out. I credit to the Portuguese. We lost a destroyer, they lost a cruiser and a destroyer. I'd say that's a fairly good trade. Now it's my guys trying to run away. They're destroyers trying to run away. There we go. Austria took 12 states, Albania took one, Romania and Serbia have been annexed. There you go, your wishes, their command, apparently. I suspect the entire Entente is defending Portugal, yes, probably. Possibly Belgium, too. Oh no, it's still seemed this Republic, they were pushed out. Lost a submarine, Germany lost a destroyer. Definitely need to get some new subs. Though we now have four of them here again. Do I build any more naval yards? Uh, not easily. Actually, Ostergothnia certainly could. Let's do that. I like the idea of being like the main naval arm of the German Empire. Who will win the greatest power in the history of European warfare or Germany's tiny buddies? Uh, I feel like that's a slightly biased question there, Lord Silverose. Katha the Cart, thank you very much for the follow. Welcome to the channel. Ooh, that's everyone now trained. Interesting. However, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab these guys. I'm just going to pull you back. I'm going to put you here. And then just start you drilling again. Because I want you in fighting form when the big push comes. Oh, I stopped my attack. I'm waiting for them to counterattack me so that I can counter the counterattack. Orland has been guarded, and we actually have too many civilian factories somehow. Which is an interesting problem to have. Alright, let's do Luga. Hello. Oh yeah, this doesn't work, does it? For some reason, going from there to there does not work. I'm also going to upgrade you, you, and you. So we can get more of those resources. Okay, the Turku shipyard. Southwest Finland gets another shipyard. 
Could also do naval production at some point. Or construction engineering. That does increase infrastructure construction, but not factories. Let's get the Turku shipyard. The cornerstone of Finnish shipbuilding industry. We must concentrate our efforts to continue to build up Turku and increase our shipbuilding capacity. Meanwhile... Germany lost seven submarines and a destroyer. The French are getting pretty good at finding subs. And the fact that I'm not hemorrhaging subs would rather suggest that my subs are pretty good at hiding. Although we are losing a lot. We still have five. They're still active. And we're starting to build some new ones. Good. How are you doing? Level 26. I think you have leveled up, and you're getting there on Seawolf as well. Which is good. Okay, you guys are now super confident about an offensive, so... Let's use your super confidence in your offensive to defend deeply. And in fact, you shouldn't be in command. You should be, because you're an attack of five. You're going to be way more effective at this. Initially, this was a defensive battle, but now this is very much offensive as we try to retake Germany. Best of luck with the war. I'm myself going to get some sleep. Yeah, I think I'll probably end relatively soon. I was kind of hoping to get the Rhine. Attack is going a lot better now. Saudi Arabia has declared we're on Iquan. Oh, that's Iquan. Interesting. Mexico to two states. Costa Rica has been capitulated. And we are now 100% efficiency on our escort duty. That's really good. I'm happy with that. You can actually be... be fitted into a Florian. Surprised that you weren't already, but okay. And speaking of which... Oh, you have to arrive first. And then I can drag you up so you actually get done. There we are. Meanwhile, the attack over here is going rather well. I like it. Whoever did the voice acting for Finland had far too much fun doing it. Alright, so we're getting a nice little salient here. Taking back the Rhineland and giving industry back to Germany. Although it's definitely causing us a few casualties, we are very nearly out of manpower. Again. How much have we lost in this war? Whoa, Germany has lost 4 million. Our side's lost 10. Blimey. I've lost 71,000 manpower. That's quite a lot. I'm also apparently the third, fourth, fourth largest <laughs> industry. One, two, three, and me, four. Ha! Huh, interesting. Go Finland! I even know what this commander is saying and I'm inspired. Yeah, exactly. This is not working very well. Finish your current battles and then call it good. Oh, Frankfurt's about to fall.
And also, we have more than 20 divisions, which means I can actually send volunteers now. Yay! A little bit late, but never mind. Okay, so being out of manpower is actually a big freaking problem because one, I can't build an air force now, even though I've been building air for aircraft, and two, I can't launch any more ships. But unfortunately, that's going to have to be a problem for next time, so I am going to call this one here. Uh, thank you everyone for watching. I do very much hope you've been enjoying this. If you have, hit that follow button to get notifications when I'm live next. Also, if you can't get enough of this Hearts of Iron 4, I am participating in Paradox's Three Day War, which is their official streamed Hearts of Iron game where they bring in a bunch of YouTubers and Twitch streamers and some of their developers. We all get together and we play a big game. Uh, this is the first time I have been invited. I am super excited about this and you guys should totally come and watch because it should be a really good event. So Paradox is doing like all the commentary and all that stuff. It's going to be over on their channel but also if you want my perspective you're going to find that on this channel right here. I am going to be playing as Spain in the Franco-Spanish Alliance together with Feedback Gaming who is playing as France and then Victor who is playing as Portugal. Don't think I can talk too much about who the other nations are because I'm not sure who's actually been announced and who hasn't. Um, but it should be a really, really, really good session. So that's going to be at 6 p.m. Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. So three days, three-day war, you know, hints in the title. Uh, should be a really good session. So, yeah, very, very much looking forward to that. I am also going to be streaming European of Asalis 4 on Saturday evening. So Saturday midnight going into Sunday. That is going to be European of Asalis 4 for three hours, midnight until 3 a.m. And that is also sponsored by Paradox. Um, so Paradox are actually playing me, paying me to play games. Yes. And it's going to be on the Steam page. So if you go to the Paradox Grand Strategy Games page on Steam, you will see me. You will see, you'll, you'll notice right now there is a little box with streamers currently playing. And on Saturday midnight till 3, Sunday morning, um, it's going to be me. So I really do hope you come and hang out with me then as well because it should be a really good show. Um, looking very much looking forward to that uh, otherwise I do have a discord if you want to come and hang out with me there you can find that at the link that I think Marshall has just posted yes and we are also planning a multiplayer game which is open for the community uh, next Sunday so not this Sunday next Sunday Sunday the 9th that is going to be a community multiplayer game of European Universalis 4 we are still looking for players so if you wish to join in on that then you need to go over to the discord you need to go to the community multiplayer tab and there are details there for you to follow it's a goal game, which means that every nation's been given a little set of goals, and the first nation to fulfill the goals wins. Obviously, many of these goals are overlapping with conflicting interests, so uh, there should be a lot of conflict, there should be a lot of diplomacy, there should be a lot of backstabbing, it should be really, really good fun. I will be sitting on the top of all of this in observer mode, doing my commentary stuff, so we can see exactly what is going on, where, how, who, etc. And if we have any questions for the players, I can pull them into the commentary box, and have a quick interview and basically say, hey, what's up? What are you doing? What are you doing? Or that was awesome. Or whatever. Uh, to your future successes. Thank you, Silver Rose. I appreciate that. And Blitzkrieg Bert, thank you very much for the follow. Welcome to the channel. Let's see who is live. Excuse me. And we shall throw them a follow. Fiora is playing Total War Three Kingdoms. Let's go and say hello to Fiora. She's really cool. Plays loads of strategy games like this. So head on over there. Say hello from Mordred Viking throw in a couple of viking raids like that i want to see her chat lit up with a glorious raid from the vikings if you have access to them throw in a couple of the horns as well let's make our presence well and truly known like i said fiora's awesome deserves that throwing of raiding in chat <laughs> uh, i think that's it for me now i will be back again tomorrow 5 p.m streaming three kingdoms that's going to go on until about 10 p.m then I'm going to take a two-hour break so that I'm ready for my midnight stream of European Universalis. Anyway, thank you everyone for watching. I will catch you guys next time. Goodbye.